guys, I want to talk about something that relates to every sport. And this, uh, you can really tell as a coach when a player has played other sports. In fact, I have a couple players that are hockey players uh, and they just started picking up the sport and it was very easy for them to see uh, the, the dynamics of what a tennis swing looks like versus a hockey swing. It's very similar. Uh, same with golf, same with boxing, same with basketball, uh, baseball, any sport you can think of, they all relate to one thing that I like to call it is loading. So players that um, understand tennis can play other sports because they're loading correctly. So what I mean by that is when a tennis player at turns, um, I'll do this with a lot of players that are kind of more beginner intermediate, they'll turn like this. And there's no load there. There's no load when I swing like this, right? Serving, they go up like this and there's no load. Load means getting low, engaging your glutes, and torquing your body, okay? So staying low, using your glutes, and torquing your body. So what I mean by that is, oh, if you wanna practice this, it's more of being here and loading up where you can, you're turning your upper body, you're torquing, get your foot parallel to the white line, but now you're really turning your body, looking over your front shoulder, and that allows you to feel, you should be feeling a lot of power right in the waist area. Your glutes and your stomach should be really engaged there in your legs. So the whole idea is players that really, um, really improve in tennis is the ones that can really engage on that front or that back leg. So it's getting that player to be able to do that on every stroke though, not just the forehand. There's a lot of players that do it on the forehand, but they gotta realize it's the same thing on the backhand. You know, backhand players, they're gonna load up on their back leg, see the load, and then they transfer their weights, right? Two hands or one hand, it really doesn't matter. You gotta get your back leg loaded. So when I'm serving, what do you think I'm gonna be doing here is loading my legs, and particularly my back leg, all right? I'm torquing my body, I'm turning my hips, and pushing through so I can use that kinetic, the kinetic chain to hit a good ball. So you gotta think about that when you're playing and that includes even the volley too. So if I'm getting ready for a volley and I'm gonna turn for my backhand volley, look at my leg here, it turns here. So now I can load up and kind of push off, right? Forehand, turn, load, and push off, right? So the idea is when a player um, reacts to the ball, you'll watch their, the side the ball's going on, watch their leg, it's going to, the foot is gonna turn in that direction and if they have to move, they're gonna move so that that leg gets behind the ball, okay? So for example, if it's to my backhand, you'll see him turn here, run to the ball and set up where the back foot gets behind it and then they can hit through the ball, right? Same thing forehand, even if it's a forehand, let's do a forehand volley. So I'm here turning and then maybe I have to step a few, but then I'm here pushing through the ball. So I'm using my legs a lot um, to load up and feel that kinetic chain to hit the ball. You gotta use the ground as best you can. So that's why you really wanna stay low and push off that ground as best you can. So watch some videos of any sport you'll see and you'll see how well players load and you're gonna see that it's really, really, really important to hit a good ball because if you don't have a loading purpose on your, if you don't have a load, there's no way you can release all that energy. All right, so try it out and hopefully that's gonna help your game.